everybody, this is Dr. Susan again. I want to go back into the heart because it's really not just about the heart, but it's about our life. It's about our breathing and our energy and, and, and giving ourselves life through our whole body, life and health. So I want to start first of all with just the breath. Because take everybody who's watching us now, just take a nice deep breath. Take a few nice deep breaths right now. Just breathe in the air we, the, that God has given us. And, and breathing life goes all the way back to the book of Genesis. Because what did God tell us in the book of Genesis? That life, God created life through the breath. The first person, you know, we have Adam and Eve. And he created them through the breath. Every time you take in a deep breath, it's amazing because you fill your lungs with oxygen, which is life-giving air. It's crucial. We need oxygen for everything. Um, a lot of our body is made up of fluids, you know, water-based. And the biggest part of water is oxygen. It's oxygen and hydrogen, with most of it being oxygen. And oxygen makes up a lot of the molecules and structure of our body. It's amazing every time you take a deep breath. But one of the most important things about taking a deep breath is when you breathe in, the air literally goes into your blood in the lungs itself. And then it's pumped into the left side of the heart. And here is truly how God creates life. Because our heart beats. You know, when you talk about heart rate, um, every time your heart pumps, we're pumping blood containing the air we breathe and all of our nutrients, you know, every little bit of our vitamins, minerals, everything's carried in our blood. And we pump it out through the heart into our arteries, big huge arteries and then smaller and smaller arteries until tiny little capillaries. And we deliver the blood, which is life, the container of life through God, to every bit of organs, tissues, all your cells of your body. And it gives you the strength and the energy that you need to do all the functions that God's given us. Like when we breathe in air, we have to have healthy lungs. When you digest protein, that occurs in your stomach. When you concentrate waste to go out through your kidneys and bladder, through urination, again, that's the function part of the function of the kidneys and certainly the function of the bladder. So our muscles help us move, our, our bones give us support. So it's amazing and all of it depends on having enough blood, enough oxygen. All of it's carried through the blood and certainly the nutrients. So it's really important to have a nice, strong, healthy heart. We don't want a heart that beats too slow. We don't want a heart that beats too fast. We don't want an irregular heartbeat. We want a, um, um, a heart where, where inside the chambers of the heart we have the atria, the two upper chambers, as I mentioned earlier, the ventricles, the two lower, and, and then we have valves that allow the blood to pass through the heart from one chamber to the other. So we want all of these things to be healthy and we want the heart itself to get its own blood so that the heart can be healthy too. It's amazing how God created all this. So we want all these parts to be healthy. And when they're not, they interfere with our ability to move blood through the body. And then, and then when the blood goes into your organs and your tissues, it gives you all the oxygen, all the nutrients, and then it collects all the waste products. Everything that your body needs to get rid of then goes back into the blood. You get rid of the good stuff, and we get all the things we need to get rid of, the waste products. And then that goes into our veins and back to the right side of the heart, all the old waste products, into the lungs and we breathe it, all of that stuff out. It's one of the ways we get rid of the things um, that the body doesn't need anymore. And then we collect in the new oxygen and we go in a big circle. That's how it goes. The left side is the fresh new oxygenated blood and on the right side we collect the old blood that has all the waste products. That's how it goes. So when this system works you are healthy and strong and you're in great shape. And so there's a lot of things that we have to count on to have that nice healthy heart function. One of course is, is deep breathing because we get life through the breath. 
So one of the things I really encourage people to do as a medical doctor is to do a lot of good deep breathing. And a lot of us don't do that. We're so busy with the computer, online, you know, reading things on the internet, you know, watching um, Netflix, watching YouTube, um, just kind of sitting around, kind of drinking and eating, that we don't breathe much. And so I'm always encouraging people to breathe and to do regular exercise. The more you do aerobic exercise, the healthier you'll be. What does it mean? It means that you take walks, simple stuff, bike rides, swim, anything that promotes good, healthy breath is going to make you stronger and healthier and build your resistance to disease. What could be more wonderful than not being sick, not having to go see the doctor? So I encourage that, it's a wonderful, healthy thing to do. And along with regular exercise, which I love to hike and walk, those are some of the things that I love to do more than anything. My idea of a wonderful day, because I work a lot, I do ministry, I do medical ministry, is getting out in this beautiful area that we live in here in, in um, California, and getting out into the trails and walking and hiking. Even just walking around your block, and taking some nice deep breaths is going to help you. You don't have to be a super athlete or a superstar. If you haven't been active, just start with a little bit of exercise. Even if you just, you know, take some little bit of walk. Walk around the block. Start little. Walk around the house. Even just walking around where you live. Walk in your apartment. Walk in your house. And every day, do a tiny little bit more. You don't have to do a lot. But over time, you're going to get stronger and healthier. And it's the same thing with a healthy diet. I know Dr. Malou is going to be talking about the DASH diet, and I want to talk about heart-healthy diet as well. We really can't talk about this too much. There's a lot of things that you can do that are going to make your heart less healthy because the heart needs a good, healthy diet full of nutrients that are going to promote you know, the function of the heart to be its best. And we can actually interfere with this with the wrong kind of foods, with a bad diet. And so I want to encourage all of you to eat the healthiest thing you can. I know a lot of us like our triple cheeseburgers and our Coca-Colas and our french fries or our pizzas or our um, chocolate chip cookies or our ice cream. I know when I was so busy with my medical practice, people would come in all the time really embarrassed. You know, they'd say, oh, I can't even talk about how badly I eat. I eat a really bad diet. I have too many, you know, Coca-Colas, or I'm drinking too much alcohol, or too much caffeine with a lot of cream and sugar in it. And I want to encourage you to, you know, as I've done with my own medical patients, to just move away from those things you know are fast foods, um, junk food, don't have a lot of nutritional value, and move on to a healthy diet. We want to move you away from food that doesn't have a lot of nutritional content, where you're just getting a lot of sugar, a lot of chemicals, a lot of stimulants, things that don't affect you in a good way. And also, we want you to be careful with lots of common food that is more allergic. And if foods are more allergic, they're going to be more inflammatory. And inflammatory foods are very bad for your heart because the heart is fed with its own blood supply through the, what we call the coronary arteries. And when you eat a bad diet, not only do those arteries get clogged and obstructed, but we create inflammation in the lining of those vessels, of the blood vessels that feed the heart itself. And we don't want to feed our heart inflammatory foods because it's going to make our blood vessels and our heart more inflamed, which is very dangerous. You get swelling, you get heat, you get redness, you get rashes. Like if you get inflammation on your skin, you'll see that all of a sudden you get red spots and rashes and your skin gets irritated like eczema can do or psoriasis or pemphigus, there's a lot, or poison oak, you know, where, you, where you're exposed to, to bugs or insects or plants that cause irritation and redness. You can get swelling, you can get itching, and unfortunately inside our body when we get inflammation, it doesn't really look any better. We get redness, we get swelling, um, irritation, 
Um, you can get scarring, you can get fibrosis. It's just, it's just very unhealthy. The blood, the blood vessel circulation is um, interfered with. So there's nothing but harm from inflammation. We see this with all the autoimmune diseases, real common things like type 1 diabetes, Graves' disease of the thyroid, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, multiple sclerosis. I mean, think of all these common illnesses that, that are linked to what we call autoimmunity, where you get inflammation in your body and your immune system tries to destroy your healthy tissue. So virtually each and every one of you watching us today has some inflammation somewhere in your body. And we really want to um, work against that for each and every one of you. We want you to have nice, healthy tissues that, that can do the, your organs can do the functions that God created you to have. We need to do the functions of the Lord. So with the heart, we want to eat non-inflammatory food. We want to eat healthy food full of nutrients. So, so unfortunately, some of the most inflammatory foods are common foods like, like wheat, which contains gluten. I mean, everybody eats wheat. And then dairy products are very inflammatory. The fats are very inflammatory in dairy products. Sugars are very inflammatory. So when you think of all these foods, you say, oh my goodness, that's all I eat. So we want you to eat nice, healthy foods, lots of vegetables. Not too much fruits, but nice, healthy, fresh fruits. If you're gonna eat grains, eat non-gluten containing whole grains, beans and peas, and um, raw seeds and nuts, and if you're eating animal protein, we want you to eat wonderful, healthy, um, free-range or organic um, poultry, chicken and turkey, um, omega-3 containing fish like salmon, tuna, trout, mackerel. Um, if you're gonna eat beef, eat grass-fed, organic, healthy beef. So the more you do this, the more healthy you're gonna be and your heart will be healthy. So I love you guys, bless you, it's so wonderful to be with you. All my love to you, amen, be healthy.